Welcome to a brief presentation on considerations on employment and assistive technology from the Arizona Technology Access Program, or ASTAP. I am Clayton Guffey, ASTAP's Program Director. And I'm Heidi Lurvik, one of the ASTAP's Assistive Technology Specialists. So what is ASTAP? We are Arizona's Assistive Technology Resource Program. We are part of Northern Arizona University's Institute for Human Development, and we serve the entire state of Arizona out of our main office in Phoenix. So, what is assistive technology, or AT? Assistive technology is any device or item that enhances the functional capabilities of a person with a disability. Assistive technology needs to be individualized to the person and their unique needs. It needs to be based on the specific functional task or activity that the person needs to complete or accomplish. It can encompass literally thousands of simple to complex items and devices. How can assistive technology be worked into your existing employment or return to work plan? Let ASTAP work with you to figure that out. So, what are some examples of assistive technology? The following are examples of assistive technology items that are used in the workplace. One example is the Think Labs One Digital Amplified Stethoscope. You may notice that it has no ear tubes. This stethoscope is designed for persons with hearing loss who need to wirelessly stream the sound directly into the processor of their cochlear implant or into their hearing aids. The Topaz PhD is a transportable video magnifier for persons with low vision. It allows the user to magnify the size of printed text and adjust the color contrast of the background to enhance visibility. The Corpus F5 standing power wheelchair is a power wheelchair that is able to take the user from seated to a standing position while in the chair. This allows a user to reach and access items that would normally be out of range while in a seated position. What are ASTAP's direct programs and services? We provide the following. Consultations and information assistance. This is an opportunity to meet one-on-one -on -one with the assistive technology specialist to discuss your specific needs, review options, and to plan a course to accomplish your goals. Short-term assistive technology loans. Persons with disabilities, their families, or rehabilitation providers can borrow assistive technology items from our diverse inventory to use at home, work, or school. Assistive technology device demonstrations. This is an opportunity for a person with a disability, their families, or a rehabilitation provider to have a one-on-one -on -one guided, hands-on exploration in order to compare and contrast the features of chosen devices. Alternative financing. ASTAP, with its lending partner, Marisol Federal Credit Union, provides low-interest financial loans with flexible lending terms to persons with disabilities or others on their behalf for the purchase of assistive technology. Assistive Technology and Medical Equipment Reuse Services. ASTAP has two online resource programs to assist individuals with disabilities their families and or rehabilitation providers with buying, selling, donating, or exchanging pre-owned equipment. Training. ASTAP provides individualized training to the community on a wide variety of assistive technology topics. Technical assistance. ASTAP provides technical assistance to community organization and agencies to assist them with their assistive technology needs in relation to their staff or the populations they serve. Public awareness. ASTAP offers tours of our office and we routinely attend a wide variety of community events to provide information to the public on our programs and services. 
What to consider when planning for assistive technology? It is never too early to start reviewing, discussing, and exploring your options. If possible, it is best to identify specific job tasks the employee will need to accomplish and then trial assistive technology for each one. Most persons may require a range of or multiple assistive technology tools to accomplish any one work task. If you are involved with a rehabilitation or insurance provider, be sure to ask that assistive technology be included as part of your plan of services. Employment and reasonable accommodations. A reasonable accommodation is any change to the application or hiring process, to the job, to the way the job is done, or the work environment that allows a person with a disability who is qualified for the job to perform the essential functions of that job and enjoy equal employment opportunities. Accommodations are considered reasonable if they do not create an undue hardship or a direct threat. The interactive process is engaged in by the employer and employee to determine mutually agreeable and functional reasonable accommodations. The process is comprised of recognizing an accommodation request has been made or is needed, gathering information about the issue and needs, exploring accommodation options, choosing an accommodation, implementing it, and then monitoring for outcome effectiveness. How do you ask for a reasonable accommodation? It is best to let your employer know that an adjustment or a change at work is needed because of a medical condition. Requests are not required to be in writing, but it is a good idea if at all possible to do so. Check with your employer's HR department to see if they have an accommodation request form, and if so, use it. If not, check the Job Accommodation Network's website for a sample accommodation request letter. As a person with a disability, it is important to know and understand your rights and responsibilities for interviewing, being hired, and working. The following are some resource website suggestions that you may want to review. The Job Accommodation Network, also known as JAN, the Arizona Technology Access Program, Title I, Employment of the Americans with Disabilities Act. The following is ASTAP's contact information. Please give us a call or send an email with the contact information listed here if you would like to consult with us on your specific situation or would like more information on our programs or services. Thank you.